What's up, nerds? Nerd! The king has returned. God's Master here with another Magic the Gathering puzzle quest. Today's quest, the return of the king, Kenrith, the returned king. Yes, I know he's from uh, an older set. He's from Eldraine. However, I got to be honest with you. Kenrith was one of my favorite cards when it first came out in uh, Eldraine last year. And it's about to rotate out soon. But I wanted to revisit this because it's a card that came out from um, the last set, Call Time, that just makes him dominant. So this is a two mythic set. So today we're going to be focused on Kenrith, the Return King. And we're also going to be spotlighting the Prismatic Bridge. Now listen, if you don't have Prismatic Bridge, I shouldn't have had to make a bunch of videos to tell you to get Prismatic Bridge. It is by far the most powerful card from the Call Time set. And furthermore, it was available for gold so that you could have picked it up in Fibblethip. So, if you don't have the Prismatic Bridge and you had a chance to pick it up for gold and you didn't, that's your own doing. Uh, second thing is Mox Ruby is another card that you should absolutely go get. Store your gold and go get that card because it is by far a phenomenal, absolute must-have card. Probably the most must-have card in Standard. It's going to be Standard Legal according to what we're hearing right now forever. So you should always have that card because that plus this is redonkulous. So go get them. And they're, it's just for gold. Just You can save up gold. Go get them. All right. That said, focusing on Kenrith. Kenrith, the return king. Text so small, an older gentleman like myself needs uh, assistance to be able to read through it. But we're going to go through it anyways. 19 mana, legendary 7-7 seven, seven white, noble human. At the beginning of combat on your turn, perform the following effects for each color among cards you control. White, gain 5 life. Blue, draw a card. Black, return the first creature from your graveyard to the battlefield. Red, your creatures gain haste and first strike until end of turn. Green, your first creatures get plus two, plus two. I just realized something, but that's on this side, so it doesn't matter. Uh, the reason I loved this card back in the day was I was one of the first, at least in my group, of people that used... Um, uh, oh, what's the card now? I can't even think of it. Um, uh, Fires of Invention. I used Fires with Kenrith because in Paper Magic it worked really, really well. And then, you know, I think it was uh, Oko was the big thing. Oko was the card that was broken and everybody used it. So Oko became so powerful that it just made Kenrith less powerful. And then when Oko was banned, then Kenrith came into power much later. But I was savvy to the Kenny long before it was, you know, hip to be square inside of cardboard magic. Then when they brought him to Puzzle Quest, I was hoping that they would have done something more effective for him to make him work. There were a couple of cards that could help you take advantage of it, like the Sanctum cards, but that was a later set. And it was okay. Actually, it might have been Eldraine. I don't know. The Sanctum cards weren't very powerful. And it didn't help you cheat it out the way that you needed to. And it just wasn't good. Although, I will say, Chromanticore is another card that works really well because it's five color. It doesn't have to be a non-token. It's just any permanent that's five color. We'll get to Chrome, Chromey Boy here in just a minute. So enter Prismatic Bridge. And Prismatic reads 20 mana, flip card, uh, support card enchantment. Herald, we'll get into a minute. At the beginning of your turn, fetch the first support card with Herald, the creature, uh, or Vanguard from your library. Move that card to play under your control. So any, any creature, any Herald card, any Vanguard, Whatever the next one is, pull it, put it on the board, right? So it, the big key here is five color. So between these two, you get one of them on the board. You get Prismatic, ideally. It pulls Kenny Boy to the battlefield. He gets haste as soon as he hits the board. Uh, when combat starts, it gives it to all of your creatures. It makes him a much more effective card. It's a fun card. And here's how I break it. Now, I'm going to show you my, my uh, peasant build. This is not a popper build. It has a couple more rares in it. Um, I'm sure you can popper it out, but with all the cards that are in standard as of right now, and as of this recording next week, we should be getting uh, the new set, um, uh, Strixhaven. Really excited for that. But as it sits today and for the next few days, this is what we've got. Call of the Full Moon. So Call of the Full Moon is 13 mana, support card enchantment. While the support's in play, the first creature you control gains plus three, plus two, and gains trample and berserk. Gains trample and berserk. Uh, and then when he's in combat mode, he gets first strike, so he should be doing some serious damage. I love that. Uh, Splendor Mare. You know I love me some Splendor Mare. Nine mana. Life Link. I like getting Life Link. I like all my creatures having Life Link. 
Cycling 4-4 Elk Unicorn. Cycling 2, when you cycle this card, target creature you control gains lifelink. For 2 mana to go pull uh, another card out of your deck and, and to put that on the board, very powerful. Iron Crag Feet, 10 mana for a spell card. The first red card in your hand gains full mana, then disable each other card in your hand. This is strictly in your hand just to get uh, the bridge on the board as soon as you draw it. So if you draw this before you draw bridge, power it up, mute it. You're not going to use it for anything else except for Prismatic Bridge. Uh, Fabled Passage, 9 mana, colorless land card, 1 shield. At the beginning of your turn, convert 2 gems to loyalty gems. When the support is destroyed, fetch the first other land support from your library. It gains full mana, and it goes right onto the board. Celestial Archon. Um, so let me actually go back. The reason we want Fabled Passage is... Uh, the Planeswalker I'm using, we want to get to his third ability as quickly as possible, because or their th a third ability as quickly as possible. And the reason being, as soon as it hits three, we're doing double damage, and I'll show you what I mean. You can probably guess who it is. Celestial Archon, 15 mana. This is one of the rares. This is probably a flex card. This is in replacement of another card I'm going to use in my epic build. You can probably guess which one it is. But in this card's case, it's a spell card or Archon. If you control two or less creatures, create a Nyxborn Celestial Archon token. Otherwise, target creature you control gets plus four, plus four, and gains first strike and flying. That creature gains enchanted. When this creature dies, create a Nyxborn Celestial Archon token. If your devotion to white is nine or more, the creature gains protection from all colors. Rarely do we hit that because there's only a few all-white cards, including Kenny, but we're not casting him, we're summoning him. Uh, and then, let's see, can we see the Celestial Archon card deal? What is it we've got? Nope, that's the next one. Uh, at any rate, it's a 4-4 creature with all those same abilities. All right. Uh, Volcanic Geyser, 4 mana for a, a plus 10 stored flash. So deal X damage to any target. X is this card stored mana. Uh, this is a really powerful card. In a pinch, I can use Iron Crag. Uh, I think it charges all of it up. I'm not 100%. We'll double check. I think if memory serves me correctly, that is what it was. So in a pinch, if I have a couple of extra Iron Crags, I can let it fly, get this thing full mana, and then we can go do some damage by muting it on Flash on their turn. Uh, Needle Verge Pathway, 9 mana. This is the support card or the land card we're fetching with uh, pass, pass, uh, Fable Passage. Uh, it has land forming, red and white. Pillar Verse, uh, yeah, Pillar Verge Pathway gives us the white mana conversion. And this is the only other rare because it's a white all destruction. Destroy all creatures, destroy all non-land supports. This effect can affect vanguards. Does not kill your lands, uh, but it destroys everything else on the board just in case you get a little behind. 20 mana for a white uh, and a land forming card on dues Sky Ruins, which converts three mana to white before it's all said and done. That said, let's put this deck to the test. Who are we using? We are using my girl, Kalemni. Now listen. Next time you get a chance to go Kalemni versus uh, the other guy, I don't even know who it is, uh, who really won this last time for the first time in forever, uh, pick up Kalemni. She is someone I'm using almost on the regular for level advancing and for clearing out like fast nodes, uh, like training grounds. I want to go scoop those 10 gold. As you can see, I have 3,400 plus gold saved up and over 400 pinkies as well. So when this next set drops, I'm prepared to go buy a ton of cards and try to get all my commons and uncommons out of the way. That way, when I get all of my VIP packs and rewards, I'm able to just scoop rares, mythics, and masterpieces from those pack openings. I'm going to show you the full strategy in this next turn. I'm actually going to do it right this time. I've messed that up the last two times. And I'm going to show you exactly what to do to make sure you're maximizing those. However, Kalemni does extremely well for clearing nodes and just getting in, getting done, crushing your objectives, winning the big prizes, and getting out. So that said, let me show you what she do. Did you miss me? I think you missed me. <laughs> All right. So, here we go. So, here we go. <laughs> All right, so let's see what we pulled up here. So, if first thing's in your hand, uh, Fabled Passageway, a Fabled Passage, I want to get that down. Let's go ahead and do five swap. Let's go ahead and do red and white. Red and white is what our key is here. We can get black. And didn't get anything to drop, but that's okay. Now, why I like Kalemni is if I don't pull, okay, so there's Kenny, right? I'm going to get him out as quickly as I can because he matters. Actually, am I or uh, yes? And I'm going to actually charge up 
Uh, we'll do that. We'll do that. And the reason I want to do this, let's see, what do I want to go here? Let's go here. So that leaves me red wide open again. He breaks my ideal. That's okay. He didn't. Took my red swap, though. Silly Manford. All right. What do we got? Okay, cool. Splendor Mare. Mute. Do not cast Splendor Mare. And we're going to go... Let's go... Quill Huyton Hoyt. All right. Not quite. One more. Come on, man. All right. So that's pretty brutal right there. That's a big creature he's swinging with over there. Let's see if we can top it. I know the Celestial Archon is not what I need, man. All right. So we're going to go... We're not going to go haste. We're going to delay on purpose. Let's go here. All right. Shouldn't have done that with a uh, elk. That was dumb. I should have had that further down so I could charge up one of my other cards. That was silly. And now she's got Berserk. I don't know. Maybe we won't get it. There's another Kenny. But we're going to do this. What we want to do is we actually want to do double strike to Kenny. So we use our second ability. So now he's got double strike. Uh, we're going to do... Let's see. What can we do here? Um... Oh, my goodness. Come on. Make a decision, guys. All right. Let's go there. This is brutal right here. I would like to get a five swap here. So that we are able to do something. Come on, man. All right. I need my uh, pathway out. Where's my... Did I... I didn't pop my pathway yet. Let me make some room in my hand. Let me do this. Let's go here. I know. We want to try to get a red drop. Let's see if we get it. We didn't. But at least we have our horizontal. So now we should be converting gems and getting some more conversion on our end to help that move a little bit faster. Come on, man. It normally isn't this slow. I don't know what it is. Like, I test these decks, and they're a lot faster when I'm testing stuff. But for some reason, when you all are watching, it does not work for me the way that I want it to. I'm going to go ahead and cycle this because I want to get to a prismatic bridge, not another Kenny. And I said in another video that I recorded that I haven't yet provided you guys. The, the shuffler is broken. The, this thing is absolutely insane with how bad it is right now. Um, let's do this. It is giving you like massive amounts of... Um, oh, that's brutal. That's okay. At least I kill this creature. I've circumvented some of the damage. I would have loved to have had him have lifelink there, but that's all right. So we're going to do another one. All right, there we go. There that is, finally. There's another Kenny. We're going to... Uh, actually, we're going to do the Avatar deal, so we're not pulling another Kenny off of the top deck. And we're going to try to get a nice little swap here. Let's see. Um, all right, so we got Archon out. Cool. He's got haste. He's also got first strike, so I think we have to beef this up. Let's go here. Um, <laughs> my goodness. All right. I'm okay with Archon not making it. Golly. Ty, Ty Lur, Ty Ver, or whatever his name is, he's pretty brutal, man. Once he gets rolling, there's Prismatic. Thank you. Jeez Louise. And that's priority. That takes priority over everything else. Because we are so close with Kenny, we're going to go ahead and get this out. Does he have first strike? We're not. I'm actually going to mute it. And in fact, do I just want to do this? I think I just want to. I think I just want to kill him, man. Let's do this. See if we can get enough to do it. We think we did. We did. Confirm. Go away, dude. You, you bother me. <laughs> that is enough of that business. Let's just get that out of here. All right. We've got a Binding of the Old Gods. Here we go. All right. Now we're getting some conversion. All right. Now we're talking, baby boy. That's what we want to see. Look at that. Sharp short. And I don't even mind throwing that out there. Let's get... Um, actually, let's give him double strike now. Okay. So he's got double strikes. So we use our second ability. 
And we're going to go here. Boom. Boom. Good job. Fancy pants. Should have haste. Do we have haste? We don't have haste. Oh, I got one extra swap, though. Good. So I'm going to move this up here. I'm going to cycle it. Give him lifelink. You get to see a late round comeback, basically. I'm not going to charge that one up. I'm going to do this instead. Can't do that because I already used my ability. And we want to get up to our third ability again as quickly as possible. Cool beans, we brought one from the graveyard back. You can see that we already have the prismatic bridge on the board. And he did the thing. You saw that? So he pulled a creature back from the graveyard. Has lifelink, double strike, hit Tyler, Tyver. What is his name? Tyver? And essentially brought these creatures back. Now I'm going to use my first ability. And now he's getting all of these extra bonuses because of uh, the XP that we're running. But we're actually just going to win the game here, I think. Let's just win it. Should we do that? All right, so there's that. It's got two. I'm really not concerned about that at all. All right, there we go. We're going off now. Wang, wang. And now we're at full mana again. So this is why the elk is so important. Even if we get way behind... Kenny and the Elk seem to be doing a lot. Now, if you have um, Valkmer's, uh, the, the, the support, or not the support, but the Herald card that gives you Hexproof, I really love that card. I think that card is really, really good. And it's really powerful for giving you, let's do this just to avoid that. Let's just win the game. It helps you to be able to uh, give your all of your stuff uh, uh, Hexproof. So if they have cards or abilities that target you directly, they're not able to do it until they actually attack or cast a card first. So they have to stack their hand, which Greg doesn't do at all. So there you go. That's how that deck works. That deck works. It's functional. But I would trade out a bunch of different cards for it to make it my top tier deck. Let me show you the Mythic build and show you how that works from here. I'm not going to bother trying to fancy up the deck build. Normally what I try to do is I'll put the key cards at top and then I'll have the support cards and I kind of go through them. I didn't do that with these ones just because I just want to show you the gameplay because it's amazing. All right, so we got Kenneth, the Return King. Of course, we got Prismatic Bridge. Um, now, in the cards that I built in the original deck, I wanted to get to our loyalty abilities as quickly as possible. The card I'm using in my Mythic build for that is Whirlwind of Thought. When you cast a non-creature card, draw a card, then you gain three loyalty. This effect can trigger up to four times per turn. Pretty powerful, pretty straightforward. Song of Creation. Again, try color cards, right? We have all these color cards just in case we don't get there, but we draw cards into our hands. Get mana for it. Really, every time we cast a card, we're drawing a card. That's really what we're looking for. Ruinous, just in case we get behind. That helps us to be able to do that. I am using Call of the Moon because this ability, Trample and Berserk, plus this for Strike, allows us to roll over and decimate whatever they have on the, their side of the board. But we're, that's not enough. we got to do more, right? we got to support Kenny all we want. I talked about Chromanicore before. Chromanicore right now might be my favorite card uh, spell for sure in the game outside of Ruinous Ultimatum. Uh, Ruinous is more functional. Chromanticore, I, I often find myself, if the deck synergy is right, I pull Chroma um, Ruinous and I use Chromanticore to wipe the board. The only time I run into challenges is if I have uh, something that is like a support that's on the board that I can't get rid of or I can't match or I can't decimate the board with grain conversion or something like that to get it. So then I'll throw in Ruinous. So I, I, often I won't have them in together. This build I do. Chromanticore, if you don't know what it does, very much like Archon. 20 mana, all five colors. If you control two or less creatures, create an X-Born Chromanticore token. Otherwise, target creature you control gets plus five, plus five. First Strike, Flying, Lifelink, Trample, and Vigilance. Uh, that, this, uh, that creature gains Enchanted. When this creature dies, create an X-Born Chromanticore token. This gives Lifelink, so this replaces both the Archon as well as the uh, Elk for giving everything Lifelink. Powerful card. I adore it. Ride of Flame. This is just a starter for Song. Three mana, the first card in your hand that is, is uh, not named Rite of Flame, gains six mana, then ignite two red gems, threshold two, ignite three red gems instead, and that gains eight mana instead. Very powerful card, I love it. You know I'm running some Mox Ruby, we're running all these red cards, we've got to be able to light them on fire. Six mana, you get a red card for free. Match the mana field, you go from there. And then you know what we throw in here for my baby girl, right? We got my baby girl up in here, Angel of Death. Denis. 21 mana, double strike, 5-9, angel cleric, while in the battlefield, all the creatures gain lifelink at the end of your turn. If you have full life, your opponent goes to half of their life. Amazing card, powerful, ridiculously synergized this deck. Allow me to show you how. <laughs> Gotta shave. 
haven't shaved in a while. Working from home? Razors are unemployed. All right, here we go. Carney boy. Let's see what carnage we're going to get into here. All right, so first things first, I go ahead and get my whirlwind of thought because I want to draw into the card that I'm looking for as quickly as possible. Uh, I'm just going to go... Let's just go here. Uh, let's go here. We can get a blue draw. Nope. All right, but we got it. There's Kenny. Off to the races. Already have our first ability. Here we go. All right. All right, Song of Creation. We definitely want to get that out. Let's go ahead and use our first ability here. We want to draw into that, but we actually want to draw into our Chromanticore, or not our Chromanticore, but our um, uh, Who's He, What's It, uh, Prismatic. So let's go, let's, let's go hog wild. Let's just decimate the board. Nothing really. Okay, cool. And the neat thing, the synergy between Song and Whirlwind of Thought is when Whirlwind's on the board, ah, oh man, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to draw that card. See, this is what I'm saying. That card just sits in my hand quite a bit. Um, let's go here. Uh, song, when you cast something that's a non-creature, right, then you draw an extra card, and that helps fuel Song up a bit, and this is going to be a good one. So let us go here. Boom. All right. Not going to get Prismatic out this turn. However, uh, since we do have some other colors on the board, uh, it should work. Actually, we did get Prismatic out. Look at me. Oh, I didn't. It's um, Why did it do that? That's interesting. Why did it draw that extra card? Oh, maybe because I have a blue permanent and I drew the card and that gave me the full mana there. Sassy pants. All right, so I will get Chromanticor this time. And we'll just go here trying to get to our third ability because it's just going to fire anyways no matter what. All right, one more, cool, and I think we should get the next one out again. Yang Chow, ah, oh, there's the Mox Ruby I want. Oof, look at that, that is brutal. Okay, we're at our third ability. We, now there's synergy here. A creature gets dumped because of Song into the graveyard. Kenny brings Song back because, or brings the creature back because of all of the colors that are on the board, the black mana, or the black uh, permanent that's on the board including that. Oh, okay, look. Now, he's got the card I was talking about. Vakmer? Vak Valakum? How do you pronounce it? Vakrim? Let's take a look. And then Song of Create, or not Song, but uh, Prismatic Bridge pulled that. Val Valkmera's Protector Shield. I love this card. And so, let me read it to you, because if you have this, and you can throw it in your white deck, I, I highly suggest it. So, it's a support. Uh, it costs like 14 or something like that. Herald. The Herald side isn't that great, but or the God side isn't, but while this uh, is on the board, your creatures and planeswalkers gain hexproof and prevent damage. When you prevent damage for the first time each turn, your creatures and planeswalker lose prevent damage until the beginning of your next turn. When your opponent casts their first card each turn, your creature and planeswalker lose prevent damage until the beginning of your next turn. So it's great against something small, but again, as soon as we prevent damage, we're using our third ability. So as soon as we start swinging, it's game. This is game already. He's dead. I don't care how protected he is. As soon as we go hit, it's going to do damage to him, or it's going to attempt to do damage. It's going to remove Hexproof and uh, prevent damage, and then the rest of my creatures are going to swing in for face. Is there anything we can do here? Let's try to do something. No. Um, no, that's drawing because Kenny. All right, so there you go. Synergy, synergy, synergy. Wang. Wang game. <laughs> we didn't even cast Chromaticore. We didn't even use a couple of the other spells and the things that are in here. Uh, Prismatic wasn't on the board that long. It didn't need to be. It's just a powerful, synergized deck that works really, really well to clear events and anything fast. I love using this deck because it wins pretty quickly. It's not as quick as Sauron, and I have experimented with including um, Prismatic and Kenneth Kenrith in my um, Soren deck, my Make Soren Great Again build with uh, Angel of Death and, and um, all the other uh, things. It's still faster without those tricks. So I'm excited to see what Strixhaven brings because I think in there we're going to get some cards that should make a difference to my builds. I'm excited to build them out. So let's show you the deck one last time so you can see clearly what we are playing with here. Again, Angel of Death, the knee. Mox Ruby, Rite, Chromanticore, Kenrith, Prismatic, Whirlwind Song, Ruinous, Call of the Full Moon. 
Can you beat it? What do you got? Kenny is amazing. I, I just, I can't say enough good things about Kenrith and him combined with Prismatic Bridge. Let me be clear. I said it in the beginning, I'm going to say it now. As soon as Prismatic Bridge is back in Fibblethip, if you don't have it, go buy it. Number one, the art in it is amazing. I love it. I want to get it just so I can have that version of it. But I saved my gold because I didn't want to waste it there. I wanted to make sure I had at least 3000 for the next set that I had a feeling was coming out this week, and I was right. That said, um, in addition to that, you got to get you got to get it. you got to get Mox Ruby. That, those are your most priority chase cards. Mox Ruby makes red just almost unbeatable. If you get it on the board, the only time it suffers if it's in a, a section where you can't get at it and swipe it and match near it. It's phenomenal. Um, I have another build I'll show you that's a Gems of Poppin deck that at the, in my next video. Hopefully I'll be able to share with that. Uh, or next video might be just me opening a bunch of packs from Strixhaven. I missed you, my friends. I'm glad to be back. Uh, ish. I still have some, some crazy schedule stuff I'm sorting out right now in the middle of it. But if you miss me, join the party. If you enjoy what we're doing here, uh, you can really support the channel by doing a few things. Number one, liking and commenting really helps the algorithm share us with other Puzzle Quest enthusiasts. Subscribing, hitting the bell notifications. That way, when I do set out a new video, you guys get them. And in addition to that, join our quest. Comment below. Let me know your gamer name. Let me know what uh, coalition you're in or cards that you would love to see me break. I pretty much skipped over all of Kaldheim. There are several cards in there that I absolutely love. I have a few decks that I've built from it that are just phenomenal. Where I can, I will insert them in between the new Strixhaven stuff. Strixhaven looks ridiculously strong, and I'm really excited to play with those cards. And more importantly, excited to break them for you guys to show you how to maximize your results. With that said, as always, I appreciate you. You could have been anywhere in the world for the last 20 minutes or so. You chose to spend that time with me here. You are appreciated. Till our next quest. Swords up, my friends.